Now, many of us dream of winning the lottery, but for a handful of charities across the region, it's actually becoming a reality. They'll be sharing £1 million. Just under half of that cash will go to one organisation which is helping hundreds of children with problems at home or at school. Kath Mackey's been to see how they're going to spend their windfall. It's the golden ticket, over £400,000 of lottery funding. And the lucky winner is the Worcestershire-based charity Mentalink. Fantastic. They've obviously acknowledged that we make a difference and our service is important to the children and now we can help more children. Yes. Like James, the 16-year-old was having personal problems and was referred to the charity by his school. He meets his mentor, Gary, once a week. I was quite angry at first, but then... Um, it helped me to relieve all of that, having someone to talk to. The charity helps 350 children a week talk through issues ranging from family bereavement to anger management. All of the 225 mentors are volunteers. They've come from the local community, so it's a way of linking the local community with the young children. And it works really because they're volunteers, they want to do it. They may have had something in their lives that makes them want to give something back. Gary has taken time out from running an engineering firm to help. If I'd had, had a mentor in school when I needed one, it would have helped me tremendously. Um, I'm fortunate enough that, that I can afford the time to try and help and guide uh, children as and when they need it. In all, the region's getting a million pounds for a range of projects from a charity in Dudley which helps people needing care to a healthy eating programme in Wensbury and a training centre in Birmingham which helps people find jobs. Mentorlink will spend their share training more volunteers and expanding the service to Dudley and Telford. So how's it going then, Mike? Good, yeah. As for James, he's now finished his mentoring and has settled into sixth form. Kath Mackey, BBC Midlands Today, Starport.